Use an autoresponder for your internet-based business, but avoid three mistakes. An online home business can receive huge benefits from making use of an autoresponder marketing campaign, but many internet marketers are now wondering if their businesses can really reap the rewards that everyone talks about. Autoresponder marketing was exceptionally popular a few years ago at a time when many legitimate online businesses concentrated on building a subscriber list and loading an autoresponder up with months of email newsletters. Recently, there have been some new roadblocks that could possibly destroy the responsiveness of your subscriber list. Here are some of the roadblocks that could create problems for a responsive online autoresponder marketing campaign. 1. Having outdated content. If you intend to load your autoresponder with six months or more of content to send out to your list, it is essential that the content is the kind that will not date. If you include content that is not timeless, you will need to review your messages often so that you can ensure that anything being sent to your email list is content that is still relevant. By sending outdated content to your subscriber list, especially in the first couple of weeks, not only will your readers lose faith in what you have to say, but they will rapidly start unsubscribing and your list will dwindle to nothing. Point two. Bad coding there is nothing better than receiving emails that are addressed to you by name and this is done by adding a code to the email that will automatically take the information stored in the autoresponder at the time that you subscribe. When you enter your name and email address to receive newsletters from an online marketer. How quickly do you get turned off though when the email you receive begins with hi rather than hi John? Even though the majority of readers are aware that you are not personally addressing every single email, the idea that the mail is addressed directly to you just makes you feel good somehow. Rather than making it obvious that you have no idea who these people really are and don't care either, it is better to take the time to check your emails before sending them out. Point 3. Not sending out content. What could be worse than subscribing to a list and then receiving nothing but an avalanche of sales pitches? When people subscribe to your autoresponder marketing list, it is because they expect to get valuable information about the subject concerned. What they do not expect is to receive sales pitches every day and sometimes more than once a day. There is nothing wrong with having a sales pitch mixed in with the information, but limited to every third or fourth email. The quickest way to get people to hit the unsubscribe button is to bombard them with sales pitches. Remember that anyone who joins your list is doing you a favor, so have respect for your readers by providing them with useful information. If you give them nothing but sales pitches do not expect any sales, when getting started online with autoresponder marketing, there are roadblocks, but fortunately if you stay on top of your subscriber list they can easily be avoided. Provide your readers with useful information, avoid coding errors, and your autoresponder marketing campaign will become a profitable part of your legitimate online businesses.